Geronimo, down to die for everything I represent. Man, every word in my letter to the president. Dear Mr. President, tell me what to do. These niggas acting up in the hood. Send more troops. Dear Mr. President, tell me what to do. These niggas acting up. Yo, welcome back to the vlog, y'all. Um, I just wanted to put this little interjection in it. We apartment shopping right now, actually. But I um, just want to put this little interjection in here. Um, I want to say justice for Amir Locke. Y'all go look at the Amir Locke case um, at down in the Minneapolis Police Department. Another case of a black man getting shot. This time, it was a no-knock warrant. They just ran up in his crib. You feel me? No-knock warrant. They said he was reaching for a weapon. Shot him. Dead in his house, so... Justice for a mere lock. I mean, you can't. We look at these situations and we think about, damn, this can't happen to us, and we don't really take it seriously unless it hits home. So we just gotta make sure we advocate for these people and um, make sure we speak up on these issues. Cause this issue right now actually don't even have nationwide coverage. And if you think about it, I go to FAMU. Uh, we live in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, and the uh, Mirror Lock case is in Minneapolis, like I said. So the fact that in Tallahassee that we don't even talk about this, we're not protesting about this, we're not, it, we're not enraged about this. It's kind of alarming, so I just wanted to put out there and make spread the word a little bit. So, you know, justice for Mirror Lock, and um, I wish his family and um, all his friends um, condolences. So uh, rest in peace, him. And yeah, I just, just wanted to interject real quick. Coming at y'all from the apartment tour. Your family, Lonnie in the back. And yeah. All right, y'all. We got FAMU men's basketball game right now. Women's playing. It's 32 21 right now. So we got the women's basketball game. Chilling. Got a little popcorn. Chilling. Feeling. Since we're staying right here, you know, we're just chilling. You feel me? We're watching the game. If it's a close game, I'm going to show y'all. If it's not, it is what it is. But yeah.
Randolph got the runner start, gives it to Stevens. Bam! Three pointer. Stevens knocks it down. Justice to Minneapolis, to Peace Police Department. This is their second time doing this. George Floyd case actually was the same police department. So this case actually, they're trying to cover it up. So y'all just go look at this case real quick, man. Y'all dive into it. Y'all do your own research. You feel me? Look into it. If you're black, you should look into it off work. You feel me? This is something that's going to affect you. So yeah, the next game we're going to get into, this is Texas Southern, I believe. Uh, that was pretty good. Comp family always do pretty close. They're always pretty good. Um, the women's basketball team, they be trying, so you can't hit them. But the men's basketball team, either going to lose or they're going to win a close game. So, yeah, and here you go. <laughs>
says it was important to her to give back to the people of Tallahassee and she couldn't be happier that so many other students saw the need as well. Giving back um, to your community and you know you're seeing people coming around now they're coming in trying to look for you know seeing what's in the boxes it feels good you know it feels good to help not only a woman who's helping the community but to help people in the community as well. Johnson says she got the idea to do a holiday food delivery from a cheerleading organization that she used to be in, and she's happy with today's turnout. 